The camper van I've got in front of me is from Mobile Vetter Design. This is a rather cute looking camper van. It says here it's got pure yacht feeling and it does look a bit like a yacht. Anyway, let's go straight to the bad news because you can just turn thing off if you want to. Uh, 91,280, you'll probably want to turn the video off. It's obviously a 636 centimeter long Fiat Ducato camper van. And uh, so as all Fiat Ducato camper vans are the same, well, uh, not entirely, but they do look somewhat similar. There's not all that much you can do with a camper van except in the details. In this case, you might think that the um, decor is rather outstanding, or you may not, depending on the circumstances. Um, you may think that uh, the toilet, what do you think of that? Next pretty smart I can't stand to open toilet so it's one of my one of my phobias that one uh, and so there you have the washroom there looks quite cute I'd have to say uh, rather elegant to mind you for 91,000 euros you'd expect uh, for a Fiat Ducato camper van you'd expect something to look quite cute I mean the door is well sort of highly polished uh, as everything is oh that is quite nice right so what we've got here is two Two, uh, what are they called? Hobs. Two hobs. Two hobs are here. Uh, I'd like to find where the sink is. Somebody's pinched the sink. Where is the sink? Anybody know? Um, let's see if we can find. Let's see if we can find the sink in here. No, that doesn't look like the sink to me. Um, maybe, maybe it's somewhere else. Okay, who's? All right, who's pinched the sink? It's gone. Uh, <laughs> the sink has vanished. Who? Oh dear, there it is. <laughs> You see, if you search, you shall find moulded sink like that. Very original, isn't it? So these are the details. So obviously you can find it, even in these days, you can still find a Fiat Ducato camper van at around 65,000 euros. So what you're paying these detailed 25,000 extra, so to speak. It is a fridge here. It's a tower fridge. Uh, it's called uh, tower because it's sort of long and thin oh that's got a nice blast of cold air that i do appreciate when the weather's as hot as it is today 31 degrees and it's in september uh got here very elegant uh very elegant so oh, that's very nice looking uh uh, lockers have got a bit of storage down here can't see the point of that I'd have made the whole thing a bit deeper myself no it's all right no problem it might be not really a lot of space but hey oh, it's almost not too bad at least at least it's covered and uh, yeah down there pretty good pretty good and down here what we've got is uh, this is a bed that will go up and down fortunately somebody has left the key in and I'm gonna press the button We'll just check to see there's nothing underneath that's going to stop it coming down. And now we're going to put it down. So you've seen how much space there is underneath. Now the bed's going down. Here we go. So the bed's gone down. By the way, I need to point out that you can't keep doing this up and down. Um, at, uh, at that leisure because the motors will pack up so you know uh, you can do it once up and down but uh, after that give it a give it a bit of a break we can see that here we've got this enormous bed this part was down previously so it stayed where it was there's a bit on the other end as well that stayed where it was uh, we've got the storage things at the other end we've got the light switches uh, we've got the sound system and uh, this is a memory foam mattress, which um, I can't tell if it's, it seems a bit soft actually to me. Mind you, mind you, all mattresses seem a bit soft to me. I mean, I remember sleeping on the on the concrete floor, and I thought that was just too soft. Uh, anyway, that part. So, what's it like down here? Uh, as you can still see you've got a bit of room. Of course, you'll get a better idea once I go around the back. Before going around the back, we'll just have a quick look in the in the wall, in the in the, in the drawers here. Oh, that one's broken. Yeah. All right. Well, that's that one came off its uh, rails. Yeah, it could do some proper walls if anybody from Mobile Vetter 
is watching we'll have a little, quick look at this yeah you've got your uh, your television should be going up there i suppose there's the plug for it 12 volts you've got 230 you've got uh, two, uh, this is probably usbs oh what a memory i've got and uh, oh i ought to point out look at all of this light streaming into this van it's on an automatic basis which is part of what part of the uh, huge cost oh it's also got this uh, on the table there's a little detail something to put your cup if you're a side case sitting here by yourself as often is the case in, with me um so uh, let's, uh, let's 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 go around the back So this is called the Admiral, I don't think I said that or not. Uh, right, uh, that's the amount of space you've got uh, when the bed is right down. As you can see, it's got the name Mobile Vetta written up there. Uh, let's have a look in here at the, uh, the gas cupboard. Open that there, open that there. That hasn't opened. It's open now, and you've got, that's the way into your gas cupboard. Better off getting a... Um, refillable solution and then you won't break your back trying to get into that uh it's got why has it got this down here what's this this thing i think that this thing here is for a for a motorbike notice how it's been fixed there to the floor so you could get the motorbike in of course to do that you'd have to put the bed up so now let's see the bed go up i'd be better if i could do this at a an angle but the thing is I can't read maximum loads 250 when you put it up nobody should be on the bed you'll do the motors in they're not very strong also there's a daft key you've got to put in as well which I think is totally ridiculous these keys break and when I went to Lippert Components who made this thing they told me they didn't know where to get spare keys from so anyway there's some there's some advice let's press the button I've got my finger on the button. Let's go up. So, there you can see, you can get a, a motorbike in, in here. That gives you the amount of uh, uh, space you've got. Uh, we've also here got a uh, um, 230 uh, watt, and if you had a... Um, bike that needed charging probably not a motorbike but a electrical bikes in here you could charge it up via there assuming of course that you were on hookup in here we will find a bit of storage space as well as the the valve to open the um the the the, the, the water tank and let it drain out uh which you should do when it's not in use here we've got an outdoor shower Whoa. Should that be needed? Let's have a walk around the side. Oh, I'll let you get a view of it. Uh, right, um, does this say here this is new? The Admiral line, well, it's not that new because I've filmed it in the past. I filmed it in uh, a 2021, 2022 version of this, uh, uh, of this motorhome. Maybe this particular version is new. Maybe it's got something which uh, has not been seen before. I don't know, uh, but anyway, for the moment, thanks very much for watching and being with me here today. There you have it. Oh, I'm going to take it out a bit. There you go. That's a final view of the of the vehicle with my gimbal in the way. Well, anyway, at least I got the whole vehicle in the shot from where I'm standing. Thanks for watching and all the best for me in Dusseldorf.